welcome back to another video and today this video is going to be more like an MSc beginners tutorial so to start with I am going to be showing you how to get a horse so you would load in outside the stables and you would want to well you see two trailers this one is for role plays and this one over here by the paddock is for buying your horses so it says how to spawn a horse claim a stall in the barn and spawn it there but first you want to buy a horse so click interact and scroll down till you find a horse that you like um it doesn't show them for me it goes why um i don't know whether that happens to you guys as well um usually you'll start off with 1000 to 2000 coins so some of the best horses to get if you're beginning on mse are probably the warm bloods at the top or probably the AQHs, the American Quarter Horses. So once you've clicked on one that is for around that amount, you want to press buy. I've already got it, so um, pretend that I haven't got it and you click buy. Then you'll press the X at the top of the corner and you would want to come and go into the barn. And then um, if you're on a public server, you will have to try and look for a stable. There will always be a stable because um, there are a certain amount of stables um, for the people allowed on the server. And then you want to go and get the horse that you spawned. Um, I believe it was that one. And you want to, well, you want to come over here and press spawn horse or horse spawner and click the one that you bought. And then your horse shall spawn. And another thing that beginners sometimes get wrong in MSE is when you get on your horse, you can either press man or you can jump on them. But they always try to back up. But if I try to back up, my horse rears. So you'd want to just simply turn to the side. And another thing, the controls are very hard on MSE. You will get used to it if you keep playing it. But that is how, this is the whole reason why most people quit MSE. And then you want to come over here and you can press style main. You can change your horse's main, whatever you want to do to your kind of style and then there is also an option to tack up this is how you get your saddle your bridle and your wraps or leg wraps or whatever you call them polo wraps all of that so you would hold that down and then you would want to go and it spawn well it starts off on bridles i would per i personally really like the english bridle or the mexican bridle but you can go um nose boundless bridle and you can also choose an ear bonnet. Ear bonnets are very cute. And of course, down here, you can change your colour of to whatever you want. To match you, to not match you, anything. And you can also choose different types of bits. For example, bitless. You can remove the bit. Um, snaffle, D-ring. I tend to go snaffle because it's one of the simple ones. Or sometimes D-ring, but not that often. And then downside, it also has the saddle emoji. You would click that and you can either put on a dressage saddle which is big or you can put on an english saddle which can be for like jumping hacks all of that and then you can press half pad as well if you want a half pad up you don't have to if you don't want to and stirrups for me um they don't really fit at the moment um yeah like that's a problem with my avatar and then you can also click leg wraps as well to get up polo wraps and martingale neck rope or whatever you want i would usually go polo wraps or tendon boots and martingale but you can choose any and on mse a couple of you may, may be like where is the indoor arena well there is an indoor arena which not many horse games actually have indoor arenas however mse does this is the indoor arena it's quite big and there are a couple of jumps set up this one's quite good for giving lessons and all and then you can also trot or canter, I'm just going to canter there because it's quicker, um, round here. And there is a big dressage arena out the back. Well, it's not really dressage, but there's nothing there. So I tend to use it as a dressage arena. And of course, there is a bird that occasionally flies around. Um, and on MSE, um, if you want to do jumping, that is a jumping arena. Just ignore the chicken in the arena that's running across. Um, but here is jumping arena and you can come over here and you can click edit jumps and you can choose the height that you want to jump at 
So there are all different heights from 40 centimetres to 1.1 metres. So you can change that. And same as over on the pole work arena, you can change the course as well. If I just quickly pop over there. Oh, I just went over. You can change your course so you can have some bounce jumps. You can just have poles on the floor. I tend to go for the beginner pole work because it's got quite a lot of boxes in there and I like to practice that with my horses. And you can also press reset arena if you don't want any of them. And then there is a hunter arena over there. Um, and right in the corner, I don't know whether you can see, that little round pen. Um, I tend to use that as a lunging arena. And then over here, that is also another jumping arena. This one, you can't change the height of the jump, so. Um, oh, and another thing. Um, well, there's not really a path that leads to the hacking area, but there is a lake over here. It's quite big. And as you can see in a minute, there are some jumps. So there is cross country as well, and it goes all around the barn. So you can do cross country whenever you want. And also there are some hacking paths if you don't want to do any jumping. So this is what I tend to do because I don't really tend to do cross country that much. But I do sometimes with Juniper. So guys, I hope this helped if you're a beginner. If you have any more questions, comment down below and I will probably do a part two if there are any questions needed. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.